So in the following two videos, we're going to talk about the nature of the electrode. So the first one that we go through will be the mercury as cathode. So before we move on, okay, we have to look at uh, the setup. Okay, this setup is a little bit different, and then we have to know that every part of the fun uh, every part of this setup, okay, what is the function of them? So before that, okay, we have a look of the electrolyte first. The electrolyte is called brine solution. So or uh, it is your duty to know that what is brine solution. So brine solution actually is a saturated sodium chloride solution so pay attention okay we will use the word saturated okay but not concentrated because concentrate for sodium chloride solutions maybe 4m is concentrate 3m is also quite concentrate but saturated means that we the highest concentration so do remember when you are asked for this brine solution saturated sodium chloride solution Okay, so these two words always are for gold. Okay, so uh, for this one, okay, and then you can see that we are using mercury as the cathode. Okay, we're using the mercury as the cathode. So, uh, in this setup, okay, we call this one a U tube. Okay, U tube. Okay, so a U tube setup, and then we'll see that uh, there are several things quite interesting. We got water here. Okay, and then we have a plastic cover wired. Okay, so what are, the, what are these things for? Okay, and we also got a bare platinum wire. So actually, what are these? Okay, so first of all, for the water, it's more important. Okay, in this setup, okay, you find that we are using mercury. First of all, you have to know about the property of the mercury. So for mercury, or if you know that, it is toxic. Okay, it is toxic. So therefore, we don't like to intaking these kind of mercury so um uh, and also you have to know that okay we have a high density okay because it's a metal so uh, this one is less important okay toxic is most important but why i mentioned high density so that you can see that in the youtube when you put it into the youtube okay the mercury will always sink to the bottom okay so uh, for this one okay we'll use water okay to put it right here we got some water right there so the function for water is to prevent the vaporization of mercury so imagine if we don't have water right there okay some of the mercury they may vaporize in the process okay and then escape to the atmosphere and then we can smell it okay we can intake it through our nose so therefore we got water right there okay to prevent prevent the vaporization of mercury okay so we'll trap it inside the youtube so other than that okay you also see uh, a plastic covered wire so this one is actually it's not something very special okay so it is just a tube okay, and within the tube okay you got a wire in it okay so what you can imagine easier for you to think about that okay you can think about like a tunnel okay so all uh, the plastic tube it just like the tunnel okay so in the middle okay you can got a wire from here all the way going down here so i use a orange color to represent so this wire actually extend all the way come here okay so all uh, the wire is just like something that allow the electron go through and then it can all the way passing through the water and then come to the mercury so the real thing about the cathode okay the cathode is not the plastic wire cover a uh, plastic cover wire is not the water but it should be the extension of this wire okay touching this mercury so this mercury is the cathode okay so bare platinum wire actually bare means that no plastic cover only okay so one thing very important the on uh, the cathode okay it is the the cathode okay it is the mercury okay so this one is very very important okay so two things already so uh while on the other side we got a cathode okay and got an anode okay so for the anode okay we got graphite okay typical inner electrode a typical one okay inner electrode so where are the electrolyte okay the electrolyte normally previously okay it will be in the middle between two electrodes so right here is the same okay so you can find that between two electrodes this is the actual one mercury or the actual two the graphite okay so the electrolyte it is the one on the right 
arms of, of the U-tip, okay? So the one that we have is concentrated sodium chloride solution. So pay attention. So today, this one is the electrolyte. And very important, this is a concentrated one. Okay, so uh, very quickly we can think about the uh, ACAC and things like that. Okay, so right, right now we'll have a negative one, negative cells, okay, CAN, chemical cell, NO negative. So this one is NO, this one is cathro, this one is NO, and this one is cathro. Okay, so what do we have inside the electrolyte okay so you got na plus h plus cl minus and oh minus so uh this one is a concentrated solution so therefore concentration effect okay cl minus will discharge first while on the other side because we use mercury this time so therefore sodium will discharge so let's see how the reactions how the half equation written so at cathro Na plus, because of mercury right there, it will help it to absorb electron and become something like this. So this one, you have to spell the name, okay? It is called sodium amalgam. Okay, so pay attention to the L, okay? The L is in front of the G, okay? Normally it's G-L-A-M, but this one is A-M-A-L-G-A-M, okay? So our uh, amalgam, okay? So this one actually is an alloy. Okay, it's a physical mixing of sodium and mercury. So you can imagine it is just some sodium dissolved in mercury. Sodium dissolved in mercury. So sodium still have its own property. Mercury also have its own property. Okay, so this one is a sodium amalgam. It's a alloy. Okay, so the other one, okay, it will be the anode part. Okay, anode part due to concentration effect. You got the Cl minus become Cl2 plus two electrons. Okay, so if we want to write an overall equation, so okay, the first one, you got one electron only, so you have to multiply by two. I am not doing quite right right here, okay? Because suppose I have to put I have to put all uh, these statements, okay, right here a, a little bit on the right, so that air, to the air two arrow, okay, and line together. But anyway, okay, I just add up this part together. While well, this part, okay, for the second part, okay. So for the overall equations, if you multiply the one about by two, and two Cl minus, okay, you got Cl two and two Na slash Hg. So this one is the overall equation, and you can see that the sodium chloride solution is decomposed, okay, into chlorine and sodium amalgam, okay. So this is the overall equations that we are having. But in the process, you find that, okay, the NaCl minus and also the Hg, they keep on reacting. They keep on reacting. So therefore, the mercury actually is getting less and less. So how are we going to get back the mercury and continue the reactions, okay? So uh, in the test book, we didn't have mentioned this one, okay? But I would like you to, to know about that as well. It's a regeneration of mercury, okay? So we need to regenerate the mercury and reuse it, okay? Because this one is a toxic metal. We not prefer to use a lot and dispose a lot, okay? So as I've mentioned, okay, this one is an alloy. That means, okay, the sodium and mercury, they are not really chemically combined. They just physically mix together. So sodium still has its own property. So how to do that, okay, how to have the reactions to generate the mercury? What we need to do, we just add water. Okay, very quickly to recall your metal, okay, when we have metal, water, add together. So the product that we will have, it should be metal hydroxide and also hydrogen. So this is what you have learned in chapter... 11 okay so in this case we'll just do the same what you need to do just cover up the mercury just ignore the mercury so you have sodium and make with water and see what will be the product so the one we have is sodium hydroxide hydrogen and then oops sorry and then the mercury left behind okay so 
this is the regeneration of the equation the regeneration of the equation so what we need to do is just add water we add water to regenerate the mercury okay we add water and then regenerate the mercury but I would like you to see that okay in the process okay the sodium will further produce two more products you can find that sodium hydroxide is produced hydrogen is produced and original reactions you also produce chlorine so basically okay you got three products coming out from brine solution so again what's brine solution it is a saturated sodium chloride solution general term you can find it from the seawater so in this setup okay we'll find that we can make use of the seawater carry out a electrolysis and then you can produce chlorine sodium hydroxide and hydrogen okay so sounds quite good okay seawater is unlimited resources and then you've got some useful chemicals so how useful are them you can then refer to chapter 3 that means book 1a okay you refer to chapter 3 book 1a okay so you can find page 17 okay so that one okay we'll talk about the electrolysis of seawater electrolysis of seawater that means brine solution so just now we have hydrogen chlorine and sodium chloride so um like you to have look of like some of use are uh, the usage of hydrogen for example to make rocket fuel okay make ammonia which is nx3 or you should know that hydrogen nitrogen add together then you got ammonia and for chlorine like sterilizing swimming pool like polyvinyl chloride remember this polyvinyl chloride okay and then any more okay last one okay is a sodium hydroxide can be used as like drainage cleaner you can use it to make soaps okay many more okay so these are the uh, reactions uh, the, the functions of, of these chemicals okay but we generally call this one a primary products only Pi sorry primary products we call this part primary product because they are directly produced okay from the electrolysis of seawater but after the word okay we can combine them together okay and then after they combine you will then make like hydrochloric acid or chlorine bleach okay so in short okay you can find it like h2 co2 naoh okay and then you combine this one become hcl while this one is naocl or in detail so equations okay you learn it later okay but again you can see that this one is a high high pole right iron it is a kind of like bleaching agent so it's quite fascinating okay you use seawater and then you can eventually generate some sodium hydroxide chlorine hydrogen hcl and especially something like bleaching agent okay the chlorine bleach oh finally just a quick conclusions okay so if you use mercury as a cathode sodium iron will prevent the discharge to give sodium and this sodium will then dissolve in the mercury to form sodium amalgam and you know that what is prime solution it is a saturated sodium chloride solution remember these two words very important the saturated and also solution okay, and finally okay the electrolysis of seawater can obtain okay can produce different kind of products okay basically you have like h2 co2 naoh and also you got HCl and also chlorine bleach. So that's all for this video. Bye bye.